has evolved from um, a telecommunications provider offering just voice to today a giant telecoms provider providing not only voice but data services. Data service that is changing the lives of individuals, changing lives of businesses, helping business to transform making businesses to be more profitable and helping government in their agenda to drive ICT from one level to another. In a drive to expand and upgrade its infrastructure, Gamtil has introduced the National Broadband Network to fill the missing link to the ECOWAS wide area network. ECHO-1 was implemented to facilitate the communication issues of member states. And through this project, Gamtel has the new generation network that will take its current infrastructure to higher heights. In the ECHO-1 project, the core network was addressed. You know, the core network that is transmission, you know, switching, and uh, uh, data com. Um, what was missing? from the Equan project was the access network. And then Gamtel at the time wanted to really work with the financier that was the um, IDB through the government to do a complementary financing to, act, to address the access network. Unfortunately, we couldn't do that. And then we had this opportunity to work um, on the NBN to address this missing link and this new government had um, a relationship with the with the mainland China government to really bring us that financing. Under the national broadband network no one will be left behind when it comes to broadband connectivity. The Echo One was very successful in the sense that it enabled us to replace all our obsolete equipment with state-of-the-art equipment. However the challenges remain by extending the services to other communities that are away from the main highways. So the NBN project would extend some of those services to communities that are away from the main rings. All in all, we expect to lay another 420 kilometers of fiber optic cable connecting several dozen towns and villages. In addition, we want to provide also high-speed internet within those areas. So overall, we have identified about 31 key stations of Gamtel from where we will develop broadband networks using fiber optic cables. We have also you know, upgraded the core network from um, a 10 gig within the great, greater Banjul area 10 gig capacity to a 40 gig capacity. And then in the rural area, we have upgraded the, the core network from 2.5 gig to 10 gig. This is really uh, going to avail uh, people to push this big data that is you know, being talked about from the first wall to the third wall. We have already done the upgrade of the core network. Uh, and then the data com is really being upgraded as well. Now, what the other component that is being done is the access. Access to the homes, access to the communities, access to, you know, the, 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 the other corporate customers, uh, you know, facilities like the GSM operators and so on. Um, nobody is left out. Now, um, we all know that uh, uh, transmission of information is very crucial and quality is required. 
in that. When you want to, to transmit big data, you need to have a quality network to do that. Radio links are really susceptible to environment. You know? So with fiber, you, you are a sword of the quality. Uh, and currently, we are even connecting some you know, private operators. GSM operators, they are connected on fiber. You know, and uh, if we finish this project, it's going to extend to areas where we have not reached yet. That is the idea now. We need to really ensure that the Equan project has a positive impact because that missing link that the Equan project did not you know, address, this NBN is addressing that. Work is already underway for the implementation of the National Broadband Network. And for Gamtel, every step puts the interest and welfare of the people first. Even the process of drilling the ground for laying cables is customer and community friendly. Um, we have um, 31 central offices, like that is the exchanges around the, the, the country, that we're going to do a digging of almost uh, 450 kilometers of trenching. You know, that's, uh, that is a lot of trenching. And uh, like all the trenches we are doing, we are not going to cut across any street. All the asphalt, asphalt roads, we're going to do boring. That is um, drilling from one end to the other, not disturbing the traffic and not actually cutting the, the, the roads. For the first time, we are running cables on the roads rather than cutting them. So these contractors have the tools and the machinery to implement the project on the highways without cutting them. So they will be doing it, it will not affect traffic. The people who are digging, when they dig, they put the cables, they, they bury. And we'll ensure that they bury and then they backfill to the standard. Because that's why we are also following to make sure when the contractor does any job outside there, we make sure that he backfills and ensures that it does not affect the community. When it comes to um, the areas like the premises that we break, we're going to put it back as uh, to back to its original um, state. If it is concrete, we're going to put it back as concrete. If it is tile, we do the same or, or whatever. Among its many benefits, the National Broadband Network will bring the government closer to the people through the provision of much-needed e-services across the country with accessibility and affordability at the heart of the agenda. When we finish this project, it is anticipated to have the government to have um, e-government, e-health, e-education, you know, e-commerce, and all these ease that you, we, we were talking about, I mean, so that we will have access, the community will have access to it. You At the end of the project, institutions that want to can be offered beyond 300 megs. Homes, on average, we will be connecting at over 10 megs. And uh, we don't expect the price to go up. If you look at fiber today, fiber is the most reliable service if you come to broadband connectivity. Um, being, you know, fixed or wired, fiber stands as a superior service to any of the services that is being deployed in, in the country. So having fiber to our doorsteps will give us the opportunity to develop as a nation, to develop as a business and to develop as individuals. At the end of the day, we want to make it affordable so that all homes will have it because then that will allow, especially students, to go online and carry out research. Cost of books and stuff like that are very expensive for the average uh, family. The health sector cannot grow without an efficient telecommunications infrastructure. Agriculture, as we talk about agriculture, cannot develop without an efficient 
um, um, technology driven by bandwidth, high capacity bandwidth. And um, if you look at the health, there are other countries today. Um, you can diagnose a patient while the doctor is not around. We are talking about having limited doctors in certain areas. We may we might have doctors in the greater Bangu areas, but in certain areas, for example, in the rural area, you may have um, you know few doctors having to cover a large area. But if you have the fiber network infrastructure across all the the, 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 the major hospitals and health centers. You could be able to, to do your diagnosis, do the test, and run it through, and a major doctor would see it, um, you know, interpret the results, and then tell you what to do. We are also working with the banks to enable them to provide good quality connectivity for their ATMs. So overall, the main scope is to facilitate doing business, at the same time offering the ordinary Gambian the ability to enjoy those facilities that are available from social networks at the same time take advantage of the valuable information that is there to improve their own education and lives imagine um, you know installing security um, 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 systems that gives you the opportunity to see your entire home even monitor your your, your children um, this um, the National Broadband Services will give you all this opportunity. Imagine video games, you know, content sharing. There are a lot of things that, 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 that you can do. But I think what is more exciting is the digital office. The digital office is, you know, where the customer has the opportunity to do whatever they want to do. With the coming of the um, fiber to the homes, your home will just be like an entertainment home. You can operate your screen like a cinema. With a smart TV, you can do whatever you want. And this is where the triple play, quadruple play comes into place. The project is expected to last until around December 2018, when it will be completed. And uh, when it is done, it will allow all operators to transport their traffic throughout the country as well as offer high speed broadband networks to government agencies, schools, hospitals, businesses, as well as residents. The National Broadband Network is expected to complete at the end of the year. And once it kicks off, Gamtel's target is to use the project to transform not only technology in the Gambia, but also people behind technology for prosperity. We have the support from the new government to really implement such a project. And uh, it is not only the technology that we're looking at. We're looking at also the mindset of people. We need to transform. And if we transform the technology, we need to transform the people alongside the te technology, the people who are managing the technology. We want to serve the people. We ha want to serve the community. And uh, we are here, it's a Gambian company. It's Gamtel is going to stay. It's, it's here to stay to serve the people. So I believe, you know, the people will really, you know, understand this and uh, have a little, bit, a little bit of patience. If they have any issues anywhere, I mean, we, we are around, they should contact us as quickly as possible so that we can, we, we take care of issues that may you know, have impact on, you know, on them uh, regarding this project. Mm -hmm.